Okay, perfect. Raymond Cruz, everyone. You guys have seen him in Breaking Bad, Clear and Present Danger, which I love the role in that one, Training Day. Put out. It's at the closer. <laughs> He's been in a lot, folks. He's here for My Dead Dad. Tell us about your character, Raymond. Uh, I, I play uh, Frank in this movie called My Dead Dad. Um, and the character is basically a substitute father for a young man who has never grown up not knowing his father. And his, they, his mom and, and father went through a divorce. His mom took him away when he was very young, lied to him about his father, told him he didn't want to see him, kept him from his father. And he grew up thinking that his father didn't love him and didn't want anything to do with him. And I fill in the blanks for him. I, I get I, through me and other characters in the film. He gets to experience what his father was really like. And he comes to terms with the fact that his mother lied to him and, you know, created this whole deception because she was trying to protect him. But it didn't really protect him. It really hurt him. So what drew you to this project? Because you, as I said, you've been in several different projects. What specifically spoke to you to get involved with the project? The heart of the film and the story, um, the writing and the script, uh, the rich characters, the characterizations. And but basically, I'd never seen this story told before, uh, how divorce affects men from a male perspective and how it can be, you know, in, in, a bad, in a really bad way, not in a good way, but in a really bad way. And how some men are lost because of it and they don't get to experience the connection and the relationship with their father that they should have. You know, and it's funny you should mention that in the film because you're right it happens more than it should yes it happens a lot you know you don't really hear about it a lot of women you know either out of anger or jealousy or or for what other reason they they basically kidnap their children and hold them hostage from their their spouses or from their exes from their fathers and they don't really give them the quality time that is necessary that a child needs in order to bond with the other parent and you really do rob the other parent of that experience and you 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 really hurt the child okay folks we're getting a wrap up raymond thanks a lot my friend thank you thank you we have the director here for my dead dad which is a very important film we're going to talk to him he's going to tell us a little bit about the film so welcome my friend thanks man i'm glad to be here tell us how did you put the film together what components did you put together to get the film going hey it was a little bit of everything uh it, you know it was our it's our first feature but we were pretty ambitious with the kind of cast we wanted to get on it so we really spent a long time on the script um we did like two drafts and sent it out to a lot of friends and uh, people we respected for notes and like really crafted the script you know and then um that that coupled with i think raymond was the first kind of more well-known actor we got that's really what kind of got it going and how we were able to get the rest of the money how did you pick the cast um, <laughs> well, we really, honestly, it was, yes, it, it was like, let's just get any name we can. But I do, I do truly feel like we got the perfect person for every role. You know, there's not a single like major character that I feel like, oh, we could have cast that better. So I don't know, man. It, I just kind of feel like the script was good enough and the right actors read it and decided to be a part of the project. Now, Raymond being in so many films. What do you think you added to him to give a great performance? Oh, man, I don't know. Honestly, I feel like, you know, the old saying, like 80 percent of directing is like is is casting. <laughs> so we had lunch with him and I just kind of described my vision and then heard his vision for it. And honestly, I didn't feel like I had to do much. You know, it was just like little tweaks. It was really easy working with like guys like Raymond and Simon and stuff. It was like you know, way different from directing like a more young up and coming actor. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. It, it was it was just about helping them just like get the, the best thing or maybe. All right. We got we got the angry take. Let's try one that's a little more subdued. But it was really just like steering the boat. The boat was already moving, you know, before we go. Last question. You also have Simon Rex in it, too. How is this? I'm hearing his performance is like kind of groundbreaking. Yeah, well, you know, he's it's he's going through an interesting phase, especially now. He booked Red Rocket right after our movie, where it's like he mostly like had been known for comedies in the past. But when he auditioned for this role, it is, you know, comedic in a sense. But I was like, oh, man, this guy can actually act, you know, and like most people think of him as like a comedy kind of rap guy. And and I was like, 
I had a good feeling about him. So when he booked Red Rocket, I was like, yeah, this, this is awesome. You know what I mean? I feel like I, I caught this guy kind of like right before, you know, <laughs> right before he, be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, thank you.